Hey guys, welcome to Metan. So this is an exclusive case presentation on Down syndrome. The patient is a eight-month-old male baby named Malesh, and he comes from Vastuga, Chitradurga. The informant is the mother named Gaurama, age thirty-five years old. The date of admission was on fourth of July, twenty twenty-two, and it was examined on fifth of July, twenty twenty-two. So the chief complaints are delayed developmental milestones since four months, and also decreased feeding since three months. We will begin with the antenatal history. So it's a second degree consanguineous marriage with the active marital life of six years. The mother's age at conception was thirty five years. GP score was G one, P one, L one, and A zero. Her LMP was on twenty second of February twenty twenty one, and her expected date of delivery was on twenty eighth of November twenty twenty one, but was delivered by C section on fourteenth of November twenty twenty one. That was two weeks before. So moving on to the trimester history. Uh, pregnancy was confirmed by UPT and uh, was registered at local primary health center. It is a booked case and mother came for four ENC checkups. The first dose of TD was taken and dating scan was found to be normal. There was no history of excessive vomiting, no history of exanthematous fevers, no history of irradiation or no history of drug intake other than the prescribed drugs. Moving on to the second trimester, quickening was felt at the fifth month. And iron, calcium, and folic acid tablets were taken regularly. An MRI scan was found to be normal, and there was no history of gestational hypertension or no history of gestational diabetes. Moving on to the third trimester, the mother continued to feel or perceive the fetal movements, and iron and folic acid tablets were taken regularly, and also growth scan was found to be normal. There was also no history of urinary tract, in tract infection or other infections, and there was no history of leak or bleed per PV. Moving on to the natal history, the labor lasted for nine hours and it was delivered by C-section at Government Hospital Chitradurga. The birth weight of the baby was two point five kgs. The baby cried immediately after birth, but was fed two and half hours later. There was no pre-lactal feeds given. Urine and meconium were passed within six hours and it was not admitted at NICU. Coming to the developmental history, uh, firstly we will discuss about the gross motor milestones. The head control is absent. And the baby cannot sit with support. It cannot creep or roll over. Moving on to the fine motor milestones, hand regard is absent, but grasp is present. Moving on to the language milestones, and it is nil. There is not even babbling or cannot vocalize as well. The baby just cries. So coming to the social milestones, we have uh, the vision follows moving objects, and there is also an occasional smile present at the baby, and the baby can recognize mother and family members. Moving on to the immunization history, the child is immunized up to age according to the national immunization schedule, and at birth the BCG, hepatitis B, and OPV were OPV were given, and also it was properly immunized for sixth, tenth, and fourteenth week as well. So it is properly immunized up to the age. Moving on to the diet history, the baby takes one glass of ganji, and the calorie intake is one twenty seven kilocalories. Protein intake is five point six grams. Then it also takes uh, one cup of goat milk, which was fed four times in a day, and uh, the total calorie for that is two sixty four kilocalories with protein intake of twelve point eight grams. So the total intake of calorie intake is three ninety one kilocalories with eighteen point four grams of protein. So the required intake is seven hundred kilocalories and sixteen grams, but calorie deficit is three hundred and nine kilocalories, which accounts up to forty four percent, and protein deficit is nil. Moving on to the family history, this is the first child born to a second degree consanguineous marriage, and this is the pedigree chart. This is the affected child, and there is no relevant family history or uh, similar complaints in the family. Moving on to the socio economic history, total number of family members are four, and uh, earning members are three. Dependency ratio is three is to four. The total monthly income of the family is six thousand per month. Per capita income is one thousand five hundred per month. And uh, according to modified Cooper Swami scale, uh, they belong to lower middle class three scale. Moving on to the environmental history, uh, they live in kacha house with poor lighting. There is adequate ventilation. There is separate kitchen and toilet. There is proper disposal of garbage, and also they use well water for their daily purposes. Moving on to the case summary, so this is an eight month old baby born to a elderly mother of thirty five years old presents with. Delayed developmental milestones and reduced feeds. With birth weight of two point five kgs, with no pre-lactal feeds, immunized up to age, with no history of fever, cough, vomiting, and jaundice. 
moving on to the feeding history which was missed here above uh, it was exclusively breastfed up to five months and then fed with goat milk for the next two months and it was fed on demand for 20 minutes and baby sleeps immediately after feeds for two hours complimentary feeds were started on the seventh month with water with water mashed rice and ganji moving on to the general examination child was seated on the mother's lap during examination the child was conscious oriented and lethargic there was no pallor icterus cyanosis clubbing lymphadenopathy or pedal edema the vitals are pulse rate we had 115 per beats per minute which was normal in rhythm character and volume and it was measured in the left radial artery the respiratory rate was 48 per minute the blood pressure was 90 over 60 mmhg which was measured in the right upper arm in sitting position the temperature was afebrile with 99 degree fahrenheit moving on to head to toe examination the head we have microcephaly with flat occiput and flat facial profile the hairs were sparse eyes we had upward slant of eyes which, were, which we call as mongoloid eyes and it, it, the child, baby also held epicanthic folds with hypertellurism the nose we had a flat nasal bridge and uh, the baby had a small mouth with protruding tongue there was no cleft lip or cleft palate the ears were low set and the neck was normal coming to hands we had a semen crease present clinodectally present and uh, it was also ha having three phalangeal thumb the spine and cranium are normal and genitals are also found to be normal moving on to anthropometry so the length of the baby was 65 centimeters weight 6.5 kgs head circumference of 41 centimeters chest circumference of 44 centimeters and mid arm circumference of 12 centimeters 12 centimeters and totally according to the who growth charts it was almost minus 2 to minus 3 standard deviation moving on to the systemic examination the child was alert awake and normal uh, motor system we had hypotonia that's it moving on to cvs s1 s2 had heard there were no murmurs git it was soft and not pal no palpable organomegaly was present and rs normal vascular breath sounds were heard so provisional diagnosis an eight month old baby with global developmental delay is suffering from down syndrome so thank you guys thank you for watching till the end please make sure to subscribe and hit the like button and also share this with your other friends who want to learn more about down syndrome thank you so much